Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to show you overriding. So we got this class right here, the vehicle class. Then we got this class that inherits from the vehicle class. And for example, we got this drive method. But maybe we want to have the drive method, but we want it to do something slightly different. So can we just put, can we just do void drive and just put print that says no, no, new drive, and if we run it, we get an error. It's already declared in this scope, but we can override it, which you know allows us to do this by putting at override. And if we run it now, okay, that's still that's still getting an error. Let's have a look what the ah, sorry. We're meant to be putting that in the actual vehicle class, I mean the car class. And now if we run that, as you can see, it doesn't say drive, drive, drive anymore. It says new drive. So we've been able to have the same method name, have the same method return type, have the same you know number of parameters, in this case zero, but perform something slightly different. It could be something slightly different. In this case, it's a new print line or different print line. Or it could be something totally different, unique to the car compared to the vehicle. And, you know, the benefit of having one in the parent class as well is if, you know, you know most of your, let's say, your child classes are going to be using this type of, you know, drive functionality, but one or two might need to override it, this is the great way to go. So that's, you know, method overriding in terms of class inheritance if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video